Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designing TechTips.com. Oh, we've got another great one for you today. We've been taking a look at the chat GBT recently and here's how to create cool little flip box with chat GBT. It's really easy to do and if you want a little flip box and don't want to add a plugin, this is an easy way to do it. So let's go over to chat GBT. I'll put the link for the down below it's absolutely free you've just got to create an account with an email and a password there is a premium version but i haven't had a need to use it so far okay so i asked it create an html and css flip box and this is what it came up with and i put the code into a code module and just modified it slightly to my own needs obviously and this is what we had and that's pretty cool. So let's try it again. I'm going to use exactly the same command. Now, the more information you give it, the better the results going to be. So you could say create an HTML and CSS flip box, including an image background, header text and paragraph text. So I'm going to keep it simple like this. But it seems with chat GBT, the more info you give it, the better your results going to be. So I'm going to pop that same question back in there. And it may even generate a different answer this time. While it's creating that, I'm going to go back to my Divi site. I've created a new section here. Let's enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down. And I'll start again. I've got a section here. Inside I've got a row with a green tab with two columns. Let's delete the little flip box I've got there. And we'll start from scratch. I'm going to add a new module, little dark button. I'm going to use a code module for this today. Now let's go over to ChatGPT. This is where we need to put our code. It's finished generating. It's got some CSS right there and some HTML right there. Let's copy this code. We'll go back over. Now this top one that I've just copied here is HTML. It says PHP up there, but it's HTML. You can paste that straight into the code module with no modifications. And that's what it's giving us. If we go back over now, just down below, we've got the CSS code, which is the actual styling and the movement of it. I'm going to hit the little copy code button here. Now, because this is CSS, we need to put it in some style tags. So it's the left pointy bracket, the word style, and right pointy bracket, and it'll add a closing style tag for you. In between, we can paste that CSS code. And there we have it. And now we've got a little container that flips front content, back content, it says up there. We've got a white front by the look of it and a black back. OK, the first thing you're going to want to do is add your content that you want in there. Now, if we look at the HTML, this is where all the content is. There's your front content and it's a heading two. Here's the back content. And it's also a heading two. But you're probably going to want to put some regular text in there, which would be paragraph text. I could have added that in the question when we asked it to build this, but it's really easy. We just need to, just under the H2 tags, I'm going to add some what they call P tags or paragraph tags. So it's left pointy bracket, P, right pointy bracket. And it put a closing one in there. In between, you can write what you want. Let's just steal a bit of, let's grab this over here. Control C to copy. We'll go back to our code module in between the P tags we just created. I'm going to pop that in there. And you can tidy it up if you want. You don't have to. It's a good habit to tidy things up with code. That's fine. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that whole thing. I'll do the same for the back. Obviously, you're going to want to put whatever content you want on yours. Here's the back content. Just after the H2, I'm going to drop down one and add that same content. Now we've got content on both, but of course that doesn't look 
too cool. I mean, it's working and functioning. I'd like my text to be in the middle. I'd like to have a nice colored background on this, perhaps. So let's go down. We've got flip box front and flip box back. Here's a singular flip, flip box front. There it says background color, which is white. You can change that to any hex code or you can put in just blue or whatever color you want. It'll take hex, RGBA, whatever you want. Let's say blue. Now we've got a nice blue background. Now if we roll on down, we've got background color of 0000, zero, zero, zero which is black. And you can put in your own color or you can click on the little color itself and just choose whatever color you want. Let's make it a crazy purple or something like that. A little dark. A little boring. That'll work. Okay, but of course our text that's not too bad. This one, though, can't really read it at all. So let's make our text white. And if we look up here, we're still in the CSS. we got our flip box. We're looking for the H2 that it put in there. I'm not actually seeing an H2 in the style, so let's put our own in there. Very easy to do. So I'm going to drop down. We knew it was an H2, just so you know what I'm talking about. H2, heading 2, a paragraph. I want those, both of those perhaps to be white in color. At the moment, it's just inheriting it. So let's drop down once so we H2, comma, and P. I got open, close some curly brackets right there. And in between, I want to say color. I want mine to be white, so it's FFFF or white, whatever you want to put in there. Well, as you can see, that's turned that white. Let's put a semicolon on the end there. Great. Well, that's pretty much all I want to do. Now, that text would look a lot better in the middle and perhaps with a bit of padding all around it. Let's see what else we've got up here. We can actually do that with the regular styling on the Divi module itself. So if we go to design to text, we can pop that in the middle by just doing that. You can do it with code if you want. Spacing wise, we can probably add padding with this too. Let's add some padding on the top of maybe 30 pixels. Now that's actually pushed it down. I don't know if you noticed that. So we're not going to be able to add padding there. But we can do it with the code very easily. So let's go back in there. Here's our text. Again, this is going to be CSS. So let's see, we've got our flip box. We've got our flip box in a... It's actually given it a fixed height there of 200 pixels, which is the height of it, obviously. So the flip box in there, let's perhaps put our padding there. Now let's say padding, colon. If I put one value in, it'll give it that much all around. And again, that's pushed it over. So we're not going to be able to put it there. So let's just cut that. Control X. We've got a flip box front and flip box back. Let's paste it in there. There we go. That's worked perfectly. Fantastic. Now, like I said earlier, if you want it deeper, it's giving it a fixed height there on line 25. Let's make ours maybe 300 pixels. And we can add a bit more padding if you want to push that down. We've got our padding down below there. Let's just delete that. Put a semicolon in there. Let's up that to maybe 50. And because it's doing left, right, up and down, if you want a different for top, bottom, left, right, just put in another value. Say 30 pixels. And now you've got 50 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And if you do four values, it'll do top, right, bottom and left. Great, for there's our little flip box. That's pretty much working for me. But what we want it to do, but perhaps you want to link it to somewhere. And again, you don't have to do that in the code. You can do it in there if you want to by wrapping it in an anchor tag. Or you can just go content, text, link, and put a module link in there. And obviously best practices all the time. If you're linking to your own site, link it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. And there we have it. Let's just save our changes here. 
say draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder I'm going to roll on then and there's our little flip box when I hover over it it's going to give us our back content like I say you can add a link if you want to so put click here down underneath really easy and those are great little eye-catching features to have on your site so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful and remember I'll put the chat GBT URL down below for anybody who wants to check it out it really is a game changer and this has just been a very simple example like I say the more info you give it when you ask it a question the better the results going to be and you can ask it to modify the content afterwards if you want to if you're not happy with what you've got there so once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com don't forget if you've got any questions pop them below the video I'll do my best to answer them or make a video for you thanks for watching have a great day